I'm Ellen Swandiak, and I'm one of the authors of 500 Hidden Secrets of New York. And I thought I'd share one of my favorite New York City secrets, um, which happens to be something I'm serving at my party right now. And it is a Polish meat market. And it's called the East Village Meat Market. And it's on First Avenue around 10th Street. And it's a very authentic Polish uh, butcher where you can get kielbasa, which is one of my favorite foods. And I've been eating it since I was a child, and I hope they never close. I love Grand Central Terminal, and what makes it a secret for me is that you can stand in the middle of that, you know, glorious main room, and if you just kind of stop and look around, you're watching time pass, and you're watching so many people go by in this incredibly public place. And to me, that just feels like a secret. Um, incidentally, my husband, before he was my husband, seemed to know that or feel that, and that's where we got engaged. Um, and part B of my answer is specifically within Grand Central Terminal, I love the Whispering Wall Tunnel, and I don't know the official name of that, um, but it gets me every time to just like go to one side of that tunnel and have someone go to the other side of the tunnel and whisper and be able to hear each other super clearly. And it seems like a lot of people pass you by and have no idea what's going on. So maybe it is still a well-kept secret. I don't know, but I love that spot. My answer. My favorite secret spot in New York is literally a very secret place. It is called Please Don't Tell. So the name itself tells you it is not that easy to find, nor that easy to get into. It's a small speakeasy on um, 8th Street, St. Mark's, and you, the way you enter it, you enter a hot dog shop, and there are like games and a very casual dressed down place. But then when you enter on your left, there is a phone booth. So of course you have to prior make reservations for PDT or please don't tell. Um, and you get into the booth, you pick up the phone and you tell them your name and your reservation. And if they find you on their list, the wall opens up and you enter a whole new secret cocktail speakeasy place. You should check it out. You would love it. My favorite hidden spot is a place called the Turks Inn. It is a, a relocation of a bar from Wisconsin uh, up in the Lake Country that is from the 1930s and was a dinner theater. Uh, and it's supposed to be like a Turkish harem bar and it has been relocated to Brooklyn, and it's pretty special. So, my name is Jade, and my favorite hidden spot in New York is Uptown, and it's uh, near, you have to be careful how much information you give away, but it's near the Met Museum. It's actually part of the Neu Museum, uh, which is full of Austrian art, and they have this cafe called Cafe Sabarski. And it's kind of not so hidden for New Yorkers, but it's actually one of those places in New York where you could go in and feel like you're in Austria. The ceilings are high, there's uh, classical music, just the atmosphere and the people that are there are so fascinating. Um, I think the food is incredible. It's traditional um, Austrian food. And for me, I like to go every spring because they do something, uh, I've been doing it for years, they have a fresh spring pea soup. So there's nothing more vital than having something super fresh in spring that's green, and that soup does it for me. But um, but yeah, it's a Cafe Sabarski, uptown, amazing atmosphere, beautiful museum, a real precious, beautiful spot to visit in New York, but it's hidden, so go find it. So my favorite hidden spot in New York City is Sag Harbor, which is actually in Staten Island, Botanical Garden. 
and there is actually a Chinese scholar's garden there that is based on the Ming Dynasty garden. There's only two in the United States, one of which is in Staten Island, and it has five, no, nine pagodas, a koi-filled pond, waterfalls, and a beautiful bamboo forest that you can walk through. It's completely transported, incredibly beautiful. And if you'd like to see it, you can actually go onto my website and take a look. I have a perfume film that actually has some of the scenes from there. But better yet, you should just go. It's gorgeous. Um, that's my place that I love in New York. Thank you. Spots in New York. Uh, I mean, you know, easy to talk about the original Rubelade in Williamsburg like 20 years ago. Um, and then, you know, secret bars became a whole thing. Um, they kind of blew up. But honestly, I, I have to go with my original one. And I, I'm not going to say what it is because the thing that I hate is when you have a favorite secret spot and you tell too much about it and then everybody discovers it. But I can say with confidence that I've been going to this place for 20 years and really hasn't changed. It still has the absolute best bartenders in New York. It's still my favorite bar in New York. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, I will say that it's very close to here. It's pretty easy to get to. And it's kind of easy to find if you know what to look for and impossible to find if you don't know what to look for. I'll give a giant clue, which is that it is upstairs from a favorite neighborhood bookstore that's no longer there. That's all I'll say. Uh, okay, one last clue. Best bartenders who are all, as a rule, Japanese. My favorite secret spot in New York City is Fuegia 1888. It's a perfume boutique at Crosby and Grand in Soho, and they don't advertise. They have incredible fragrances. The first time I saw it, I walked by it at you know 10 p.m. in Soho, and the bottles are just so beautiful in the store, and so I. I went back and, and smelled them and they're, they're really phenomenal scents. They, they do, uh, everything is natural derived, so there's, uh, it's just a high quality. And uh, yesterday I was there and they have a perfume called Yakin, which they claim is an aphrodisiac. And I left the boutique with this sprayed on my arm and a bee came and circled in around the spot where I had that perfume smelled and hovered and then left. And I love bees and it's it's the only time that a bee has ever sniffed my perfume. So it's a combination of two things I love and it made me love this place even more. So that's my favorite spot. Uh, the question of the evening for everyone is what is your secret favorite place? And for me, uh, I've already shared this with Ellen, but for me it's a rather new secret, not a secret, but it was new to me. And like many uh, New Yorkers, uh, we discover often that we don't see things that tourists see. And in recent weeks I had a visit from a cousin, or two, and with some other family we decided to take the New York media boat tour of the Hudson River, East River, uh, New York Bay. Uh, it's a pontoon design. It's a navy design pontoon style boat that takes 10 riders. I say riders because it's really hardly something that you board but rather you kind of climb onto and then sit saddle style uh, two by two running across the, the boat. And uh, it's an, as I said navy design so it's really secure but it's really like a giant raft that's cutting through the water at high speeds and taking you to up to 40 destinations with great views in and around Manhattan and those river points that I mentioned. So it was total fun to do. I was a bit leery of doing it. I almost wondered it was kind of too crazy, but it was not too crazy. It was a blast. They depart from a, a pier that's just behind the Trade Center, and on a beautiful day, you really cannot match the views of Manhattan taken from the water. So I really highly recommend that. One of my favorite hidden places in New York, being, in, being an artist and, and uh, always looking for interesting galleries that have a certain uh, presentation is on Cortland Alley. It's the M Museum, M, which is mmuseummm.org or something like that. But it's kind of hidden away and you most of the week it's closed so you have to kind of like look in through the window and you can see what the show is about. But I think it's only open for a brief amount of time on the weekends. But it's a very nice surprise if you happen to be down in that neighborhood and you don't really know it's there. It's not far from like um, 
Chinatown and the court buildings are all right there. So there's a lot of jail bond places that are right in the neighborhood too.